дали это с расстояния 70 километров, какое-то количество людей находилось ближе одного солдата, находившегося в канаве, засыпало песком, и один солдат погиб в одном из близлежащих сел. Значит, ну, население было все выведено из зданий. центра Семипалатинского полигона. Ослепительной вспышкой и ударной волна сотрясли город. В домах вылетели все стекла. Это кадры из фильма, который был снят специально для показа руководству страны. Текст, естественно, читал Левитан. Вернемся в городок полигона. Сейчас и сюда подойдет ударная волна. Вы видите группу людей, стоящих на дороге? Находясь далеко от места взрыва, они чувствуют себя спокойно. Но за это благодушие им придется поплатиться. called Crossroads is the underwater nuclear test in which hundreds of devices and cameras recorded the nuclear test explosion. There were a lot of advanced equipment at the time, and several high-speed cameras recorded what happened within one second of the nuclear explosion. What kind of phenomenon did you find in this movie that you are watching now? Watch it again! Watch it again. A phenomenon that occurs within a second of a normal camera that cannot record a nuclear explosion. So we need high-speed cameras to record. Currently in all government releases there is a documentary in the Department of Energy, the story of five atomic bombs. One of the films is an underwater nuclear test taken by a high-speed camera. Unfortunately, we still can't see a clear nuclear explosion in this film. Of course, this film is also the best high-speed nuclear test Baker film. Let's take a closer look at this video.
let's slow down by 50%. Still can't see the nuclear explosion of the film. But in 2016, I spent $2,000 to buy a movie from a seller. To my surprise, the film contains pictures of officers talking to each other. And the most important thing is that there are three Baker high-speed footage. I took this roll of film to the film company for high-quality digital scanning and cost me $1,000. These three films. Baker, the film seems to have never been talked about and has not been played anywhere. I look at the 16mm film box and enter the number on the box for Google search. There are no search results. My conclusion is that I bought a documentary about the government's military outflow. Of the three Baker high-speed footage, only one segment is the most valuable. The other two are one without starting the film, and the other is the explosion lens blocked by the clouds. After the scan, the film I watched was extremely dirty. The film was full of dirty spots and scratches. The most important thing was that the film had a little exposure. After I spent a lot of time doing digital repairs, the film seems to be clearer and cleaner than before. After repairing you can see that the arrow points to a red dot that is the target ship. The 90 feet below the ship is the 23 kilotons nuclear bomb. The explosion is about to begin. Now you can clearly see how the ship was dismantled by a nuclear explosion. Flash has appeared the underwater nuclear bomb was detonated and exploded. The water column seems to stop in the air. This is the highest speed photography film I have seen in this experiment. The arrow refers to the Saratoga aircraft carrier. Let's compare another normal speed Baker movie. You can see that Saratoga is still inside the arrow. You can know that this high-speed film is much slower than the normal speed video. The details of the explosion were taken more clearly. The explosion is divided into three phases. First, the first time the nuclear bomb was detonated, Taylor Light was clearly photographed. At the beginning of the nuclear bomb detonation, the fireball in the water will rush out of the water. The LSM-60 suddenly turned into a ball of light, which was then dismantled. The third nuclear explosion is free from the pressure of water and all the energy is quickly released into the atmosphere. The shockwave of the explosion at high speed movies become very slow. The white shockwave takes 10 seconds. Hit the Saratoga aircraft carrier. Normal movie is less than a second. I believe this phenomenon is already known in the government.
Thank you.